everybody, today I'm just sharing a quick tutorial with you from the Urban Decay Naked Basics, the second edition of this palette that's come out recently. Here's a look at the shades. As you can see, lots of matte in this palette, very basic types of colors. This is something that I plan to review, but right now I'm just kind of getting a little more acquainted with the palette. And I do like how these shades come together to create a very naturally contoured eye look. I mean, this look is all about just following your natural bone structure, creating some some added shadows there with the look, but it's very natural and could work for a lot of different circumstances. So here's a look at how I did it. I've already primed my lids. I'm going to go to the second shade in the palette called Stark, and I'm using the uh, All Over Shadow Brush here from my new IT Cosmetics little quad of brushes. And I'm just going to pat that shade here all over the lid. It's a really full coverage matte shadow, you know, not sheer at all, really brightens. Then with that same brush, I want to go to the lightest shade in this palette called Skimp, and I'm just going to dab that right around my inner corner. I'm also going to take it up under the brow as well, just for a little brightness there. Then, same brush, I'm going to the shade called Primal. This is a nice cool brown, and I think it makes a very um, natural looking crease color, and this brush just kind of wedges there in my crease, and I'm just pulling it and a side to side, just really following the natural bone structure that's happening here. Then I'm going to use this shade called Cover, and I'm using the full, like, blending side, it says crease, actually, um, of this brush. And I just want to take this right up above my crease. I like how this color has, like, a little bit of a pinky mauve tone in it, and I think it looks really nice as it just blends right up into your natural skin tone. Then I'm going to this matte, really deep gray shade with my smudger brush. Actually kind of makes me think of just a smallish crease brush, but I'm dabbing that shade right here in my outer corner. You can also kind of dab it there on just the outer part of your eyelid to make everything kind of work in together. And I'm going to come back to this shade again after I do my upper liner, but for now, just taking some more of that, again with this kind of larger size smudger brush, and I'm pulling it down. So just really encircling the outer part of the eye with some really soft color. And then I'll take Primal, which is just a little bit lighter, and go on inward with that shade. For liner, I've got my Rimmel Scandalize in Nude, and that's going to go right here on my lower inner rim. And on my upper lash line, I'm using my favorite black gel eyeliner. It's from Essence, and it's called Midnight in Paris. I'm using it with my Real Techniques Fine Liner Brush, which I also love. I always get such a great, rich black line with this, so I'm just going to take that all across my uh, upper lash line. Once I get to the outer corner, I am going to do just a bit of a wing here. Then something I've been loving to do lately, I think it gives the illusion of really large eyes, is when I do a wing, um, coming down with some powder shadow and kind of filling in this whole area right here. See how it's kind of like a wide, thick line there leading back down to the lower lash line? And something about it, I don't know, it just makes the eye seem even more kind of rounded out. So I'm using an angled brush going into Undone. And I also like how this shade is not like super black, it's just a little more gray, and it just works really nicely for this kind of thing. So I'm just going under my wing and pulling that down for kind of a thick line right here. And if you want to just blend over that with the smudger brush, you can do that too. To finish off the look, I just applied mascara on my top lashes, my bottom lashes, and then I used my e.l.f. Dramatic Lash Kit. I don't love these lashes as is, but if I trim them up enough and shorten the lash band up enough, um, I can get a decent look with them. The finished eye look, very naturally contoured, and I think what adds the glam is definitely the winged liner, the lashes. But ultimately, this is a look that can be done quickly, and I think it can fit in with a lot of different makeup scenarios, different lip colors, different cheek colors. So, Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.